but we're expecting planning permission won't be granted until 2011. The power station itself redeveloped by 2015. Thanks very much, Carl. A school in Bexley has become the first state school in the country to drop GCSEs in favour of what they call a more challenging exam. Instead of sitting GCSE science, students at Bexley Grammar will take the international version of the exam, which is more like the old O-levels. Emma North has the details. Just a couple of hours ago, this hall was filled with students taking their physics GCSE, but in two years' time, they'll be taking a very different paper, the IGCSE, the international version, with the reputation of being a bit more challenging. The head teacher at Bexley Grammar School is Rod McKinnon. Rod, why are you deciding to push your pupils even further? Well, I think we've got to engage students' intellects and their enthusiasm, and the IGCSE is a more rigorous and more challenging exam which I think both uh, inf infuses the students and prepares them better for study beyond GCSE. Isn't what the government is asking the children to do now tough enough? It certainly meets the needs of lots of students, but we've got a lot of very talented and intelligent young people and we need something that matches their particular needs. Thank you very much indeed. One of the pupils taking the paper this morning was Dan. Dan, what was it like this morning? Um, it was a lot more difficult than expected um, because it's obviously a GCSE, but um, I think I've done um, a better than I thought I would. You say it's a lot more difficult than you expected, but you're being asked in a, you may be asked in a couple of years' time to make it even to, to take something even tougher. What do you think of that? Um, obviously, we're at one of the best schools in the country, so it's um, obviously you're expected to meet the challenges. And um, if the, um, uh, our teachers think that we can do it, they're doing better than the government, so it's um, understandable. Thank you very much, Dan. Well, obviously, this lot are a fairly brainy bunch, but they don't really care at the moment. They've just finished their GCSEs for the whole year. Today, the family and friends of 16-year-old Jimmy Mizzen gathered for a funeral to celebrate his